Who's ready for Monster Jam? All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be unboxing Series 2 of the Mystery Mudders. So, uh, we have both trucks here. We have Veltoro Loco and Dragon here. Um, I'm not going to be a crazy person and actually try to collect all 100 versions. I know some people do that, so hats off to them, but uh, unfortunately, I cannot financially afford those, even though some people claim them rich, even though I'm not. So, uh, yeah, we got uh, two uh, trucks each, so we got two mega... Uh, two megalodons what the hell uh two el toro locos and two dragons and uh here are the trucks on the back you know just pretty much you got it's just showing you the whole feature on how you can turn the dirty trucks into an, a very cool truck you know you have a dirty el toro loco now you have a clean el toro loco and it's another variation for you to collect yay el toro loco and dragon are there then there's the all the versions back there and it just shows you there's a lot of information on this truck there so i want um if you guys want to pause and try to read all that y'all most certainly can but i am not forcing you to so uh, there's the qr code um for like um i know that spin master is not doing the actual posters anymore uh so they have qr codes that you can scan and it just shows you all the specific versions you know so that's really cool i have no idea what uh trucks i have here today so um i think i'm gonna do this mystery mutter video a little bit more differently i know the last one that i did with uh grave digger and blue thunder i put the trucks in like a bowl and um it worked out pretty well but it uh, was still pretty messy and i think i'm just gonna uh, put the trucks in the sink and just let the water run i think that's a lot easier so i'm gonna unbox all the trucks at once and then uh, we'll probably uh, make our way to the bathroom so let's unbox these guys All right, so we got all four trucks here. So uh, there are both versions of El Toro Loco and there's a, actually a, a roll cage difference on these two. This one's orange and that one's like red or something. So that's interesting. And then for Dragon, you have, oh, looks like a green and yellow roll cage. And uh, this one has like a, like a maroon color. So that's interesting. Uh, yeah, right now, uh, let's transition to uh, the bathroom and uh, see what uh, versions we got of both of these trucks. Both, I meant all four of these. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. All right, so here we are in the bathroom. Uh, the lighting's kind of weird. I have a skylight in the bathroom here, so that's why the sun's shining. And uh, currently right now, uh, it is uh, smoky outside and uh, fire season is uh, underway here. I'm kind of glad it started now and you know, not first week in June, but since I live in Southern Oregon, I, I'm used to fire season after all. So uh, without further ado, I say uh, let's jump right into it. So uh, let's start off with this guy here. This is our first one, Toro Loco, and this has like the orange colored chassis. So let's take a look. I'm just gonna set him like down there in the sink and uh, yeah, we'll zoom in here a little bit. How about that? I'm just gonna do cold water. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Guys, I think it's working slowly but surely. Oh, I can automatically tell we have a black El Toro Loco. Wow, it's actually working pretty well. Just move him around a little bit. Actually help try to, you know, get this all off actually. I like the whole thing about the mystery mutters. I think it's actually really cool. But uh, if someone's actually, you know, really crazy enough to collect all 100 versions, that's kind of insane, but you know, it is what it is. So we got a version of Black El Toro Loco, so that's really cool. We'll do an in-depth graphics review on all of these trucks once I clean them all up, try to get all the dirt off and dry them off, because I don't want any of these chassis uh, rusting, because that happened with a lot of my old trucks. So there's number one that we got. Um, what is it? TL2-04, and that's a black El Toro Loco. That's really cool. So that's number one that we got, and uh, let's move on to the next Grave Digger that we got. So here we go. I'm going to guess this is a normal version of El Toro Loco. Oh, I think I was right. <laughs> Look at that. I know I'm wasting water, but, you know, it's for the video, y'all, okay? Interesting, very interesting, actually. Come on. 
Yeah, so we have a normal version of El Toro Loco here. Oh, this one looks weird, but kind of cool. Wow, wow, wow. Very cool, just trying to get all the dirt off as much as I can. I'll get most of it off off camera. This is a weird version of El Toro Loco, but it's kind of cool though. All right, that should probably be enough for this truck. And uh, so here's the next version of El Toro Loco that we got. So that is TL1-14, and I'll get the rest of the dirt off, off camera here. Oh boy, I gotta clean up this bathroom next. All right, so let's start off with our next one here, uh, the Dragon, and uh, here we go. Let's take a guess on what Dragon we think we got. So right now, it's looking like a normal release of Dragon, just right now. I don't know, it could change here in a sec. Come on. Oh, this one looks pink. Oh, that's weird, but cool. Whoa. Got like a green and pink version of Dragon. Oh, that's sick. Oh, this one might be my favorite uh, mystery mutter so far. Golly, that is nice. I don't know what I'm gonna do to try to get all the, this mud off, but I'll figure out something to do. Wow. Very interesting. Come on. Man, this dirt is not wanting to come off here. Come on. It has the number there, so I'm trying to read it. Oh, there we go. All right. I think we got it for the most part. So here's our next version of Dragon. It's like green and pink too, which is awesome. So uh, this is version uh, DG1-09. So there's our first version of Dragon and our only Dragon that we're probably gonna have. And that's number three. And uh, now let's move on to number four here. So let's see, let's see. I have no idea what version of Dragon this is gonna be. Oh, it's looking a little red. Ooh, this looks like Fire Dragon. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Wow. Very, very cool. So we got a Mystery Mutter of Fire Dragon. Very cool. Doesn't look exactly like Fire Dragon, but I mean, it's, 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 it's pretty close here. <laughs> Wow, very cool. Not my favorite of, you know, all four trucks that we have, but uh, it's pretty cool still. Ah, of course this dirt's gonna block the numbers. God, me. Come on. And I'll fix up the rest of the dirt off camera here. All right, I'm gonna shut that off. And here's our next version of Dragon that we got. And uh, this is version DG2-01. So it looks like a fire version of Dragon. That's really cool, actually. So, um, so yeah, here's all the trucks that we got. Um, I'm just gonna set them all in the sink here. Then I'll have to clean them off off camera. Uh, so there are all the versions of the trucks that we got. So I will be right back. I'm gonna clean these guys up, dry them off, and then we'll do our in-depth graphics review on each. All right, here we are. All the mystery motors have been cleaned um, off to the best of my capability and uh, dried for the most part, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so let's do an in-depth graphics review and let's start off with uh, the El Toro Locos. And uh, let's start off with our first one that we had, was, which was the black El Toro Loco. And uh, he rolls pretty good. The mystery motors do like to turn a little bit, so do keep that in mind. And uh, actually here, here's a little 360 around this truck, so. It is a black El Toro Loco, but it is a very interesting variation with like blue flames. Uh, so that's really cool. And uh, let's do our graphics review and take a little bit, take a little better look at this truck. All right, so as you can see, we had the El Toro Loco logo with the Monster Jam logo, and then a TL2-04, that's the version that we got. And uh, there is the blue flames, which are actually really cool. And then you have the normal teeth there. You have uh, Armando Castro absolutely shredding the track at the moment. Going up to the front of the truck, you still have the chin hair. You have the nose with the nose ring and the blue flames coming out of the nose. So that's really cool. 
up there on the hood. And uh, the other side will be the exact same thing. And then on the back, you have the El Toro logo, the Mystery Mutters logo, the tail lights, as well as the blue flames. And then up here on the roof, you have El Toro Loco's iconic uh, horns. It has like a, like a dark red tip to it at the end of the horn, which is actually really cool. And uh, El Toro Loco is sitting on a gray roll cage with a orange chassis with uh, the Mystery Mutter, Mutter tires and wheels. So that's really cool. And um, so that's our first one that we got. Zoomed out a little too much. There we go. And uh, so there we go. That's our first guy. Moving on to our second guy here, which is this version of El Toro Loco. He also rolls perfectly. All the Mystery Mutters like to turn, so do keep that in mind if you're choosing a truck. Um, if you're choosing this truck for a future sign-up series. So here's our little turnaround of this truck. Uh, this El Toro Loco is actually really cool with the blue flames and the, uh, the green logo. So that's really cool. Let's do our in-depth graphics review with this truck. So pretty much like the black El Toro Loco, we had the green El Toro Loco logo with uh, the Monster Jam logo and TL1-14. That's the version of this Mystery Mutter El Toro Loco that we got with the blue flames. And uh, you have Mark List in there, absolutely tearing up the track. And then you have the teeth there as well, very cool. Uh, there's the chin hair on the front of the truck, and then on the hood, of course, you have the nose, the green nose ring, and the blue flames coming out of the nose. The other side will be the exact same thing. And uh, then on the back, you had the green El Toro Loco logo with uh, the tail lights, the Mystery Mutters logo, and the blue flames. And there are El Toro Loco's horns. They're the normal uh, horn color there on the roof of the truck. So El Toro Loco is sitting on a gray roll cage with a uh, with like an orange chassis and uh, the mystery tighter, uh, the mystery mutters uh, tires and rims there for El Toro Loco. So there we are. So there are both versions of El Toro Loco out of the way. And now let's move on to Dragon here, shall we? So here's Dragon. This is our first one that we got. Um, very interesting release of Dragon. I love the pink on this truck, actually. It's really unique, you know? It'd be interesting to see in the future if we ever get like a version of like a pink dragon. That'd be really, really interesting to see. But let's do our in-depth graphics review on this truck. All right, so as you can see, we have the Mystery Mutters logo, then there's Dragon's logo there in pink, which is cool. Then that's made out of, of course, the uh, flames from the mouth. You have the Monster Jam logo and uh, the DG1-09. That's the version of Dragon that we got, as well as the pink eye. Then you can see all the detail on the the skin of this truck and then up on the front you have the actual nose with just like some horns there on the hood that's really cool the other side will be the exact same thing and uh on the back here or i should say you got nothing on the back and then on the roof you just have the iconic um uh orange horns <laughs> and then you have some more uh like I don't know, bumps or something like that, maybe on the roof of it. And a uh, dragon is sitting on a, a very cool, bright uh, yellow uh, roll cage with a lime green chassis with the mystery mutter tires and rims. So there is dragon or that version of dragon that we got. And that's a really cool one. And here's our next version of dragon. This is the fire uh, version of fire dragon that we got. So that's really cool. Oh, dang it. Well, that sucks. I see I did not dry off this version of Dragon all the way. Man, what the hell? And now it's everywhere on my studio. Ugh. <sighs> oh well. Anyway, so uh, here is this version of the Mystery Mutters Dragon. And this is, of course, a Fire Dragon. So that's really cool. And here's our in-depth graphics, re graphics review with this truck. So as you can see, we have the Mystery Mutter logo with uh, the Dragon logo and the Monster Jam logo with DG2-01. That's the version of Fire Dragon that we got. It's got the normal eye and the teeth there. It just has like the fire skin, which is really cool. And uh, going up to the front of the truck, you have the nose with uh, more of like the horns or bumps, something like that. And then you can see the actual flames coming out of the nostrils, which is kind of like an El Toro Loco here, you know? It, it's not in this version of Dragon though, so you, you can, you can see that there on the both versions of there. So that's interesting, but um, I don't know why they did that. But uh, anyways, the other side will be the exact same thing. Uh, you got nothing on the back really. You get just got the horns or the bumps. And then you have uh, yellow horns this time instead of orange. So that's really cool. And Dragon is sitting on a black roll cage with a very cool maroon uh, chassis with uh, the mystery mutter tires and rims. So. 
a pretty long video actually. These mystery mutter videos tend to be pretty long, but you know, but you know, that is what it is. So make sure to crush that like button. If you guys like this video, why not consider subscribing? It is 100% free and you guys can always undo it. We are on the road to 1,050 subscribers. So that's really cool. You guys can also follow me on Instagram at MonsterJamFan0311. You guys get exclusive content on stuff that I'm going to post. And you get to reserve tricks for Monster Jam sign-up series and points competitions. It is always worth it, you guys, but I don't force you guys to do it. The link for my Instagram is always down in my description. I highly encourage you guys to check out my description. I do post some key information in there from time to time. So there you are. Comment down below uh, which version. Uh oh, which mystery mutter is your favorite? I don't know. All four of these guys are actually really good. If I had to pick a favorite, I would go this version of Dragon or this version of El Toro Loco. But uh, those other two there are still awesome. So there you guys go. So this is Monster Jam Fan 0 catching you guys on the rails.